Magandang araw mga Shipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will illustrate and find the probability of simple events. Let us have a review on the basic concepts of probability. Given the following events, determine the intersection between A and C. The intersection between A and C are the elements 1 and 7. What is the union of event A and event D? The union of event A and event D are the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 9. What is the complement? The complement are the elements 1, 2, 4, 5, Let us now discuss the probability of simple event. If an event E has N of E equally likely outcomes and its sample space S has N of S likely outcomes, then the probability of event E is equal to P of E equals n of e all over n of s wherein n of e is the number of elements in event all over the number of elements in the sample space. Let us now discuss the properties of probability of an event. A probability is a number between 0 and 1 inclusive. That means that the answer in every probability are from 0 up to positive 1 because of the word inclusive. The probability of an event that cannot happen is 0. The probability of an event that must happen is 1. And the last one, if the probability of an event E is P, then the probability of E complement is 1 minus P. Let us have our first example. A die is rolled. Find the probability that the number turned up is more than 2. So that is number of events all over the total number of possible outcomes. The numbers which are more than 2 that can be found in a die are the numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. While the po all possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, the probability that the number turned up is more than 2 is equal to 4 over 6, or simply 2 over 3. A die is rolled. Find the probability that the number turned up is an even number. Using the concept, let us now identify all the possible even numbers found in a die. These are the numbers 2, 4, and 6. All the possible outcomes in a die are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So, the number of even numbers are 3 or is 3 and the total number of possible outcomes is 6. Therefore, the probability is equal to 3 over 6 or simply 1 half. In a bag, there are 5 red balls, 4 green balls, and 3 blue balls. What is the probability of getting a green ball? Using the concept of probability, let us first identify the number of green balls because it is what we are required and the total number of balls inside the bag. So, the probability of the event is equal to 4 all over 12 because we have 4 green balls all over 12 total balls inside the bag. So, that's 4 all over 12 or simply 1 third. In a bag, there are 5 red balls, 4 green balls, and three blue balls. What is the probability of getting not a blue ball? Using the concept of the probability of simple event, we have nine all over 12, simply because there are nine balls that are not blue, and over 12 because there are a total of 12 balls. So nine over 12, or simply three fourths. A die is rolled. Find the complement of getting a tree. So since we are asked to identify the complement of getting a tree, let us first identify the probability of getting a tree when a die is rolled. So we have three. There is because there is only one tree in a in a fair die. All over. The possible outcomes in a die are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So all in all, we have 1 all over 6. That is the probability in getting a 3. Since we are asked on the complement of getting a 3, what we are going to do is to subtract 1 over 6 or the result from 1. Therefore, the probability of the complement of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of an event or simply 1 minus 1 over 6 which is equal to 5 over 6. If a coin is tossed 3 times, what is the probability of getting exactly 2 things? So the probability of the given event is given by the number of getting two tails all over the total number of possible outcomes. If you are going to toss a coin three times and you will get exactly two tails, the possible results are tail tail head, tail head tail, and tail tail head. All over all the possible outcomes, which are head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, tail, and tail, tail, tail. These are all the possible outcomes if we are going to elicit them. So, the probability of an event of getting exactly two tails is equal to 3 all over 8 because we have 3 possible outcomes of getting two tails and we have 8 possible outcomes if we are going to toss a coin 3 times. If a coin is tossed three times, what is the probability of getting no tails? 
So that is the probability of getting no tails all over the total number of outcomes. The possible results of getting no tails are or is head, head, head. All over all the possible outcomes which was discussed a while ago. Therefore, the probability of an event of getting no tail is equal to 1 all over 8. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. If an event E has N of E equally likely outcomes and its sample space S has N of S likely outcomes, then the probability of event E is given by the number of elements in E or in event all over the number of elements in S or sample space. The four properties of probability of an event are a probability is a number between 0 and 1 inclusive. The probability of an event that cannot happen is 0. The probability of an event that must happen is 1. And if the probability of an event E is P, then the probability of E complement is 1 minus P. Let us now check your knowledge. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing this activity. A box contains 15 cards numbered 1 to 15. Find the probability that the card drawn is a multiple of 3. So the probability of the event is given by the total number of multiples of 3 all over the total number of outcomes. Let us first list the numbers from 1 to 15 which are multiples of 3. These are the numbers 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. All over the total number possible of outcomes which are the numbers 1 to 15. So we have 5 all over 15 or simply 1 third. What is the probability of getting a face card in a regular deck of cards? Take note that we have three kinds of face card, the jack, the queen, and the king. And we have four kinds of cards. We have the diamond, heart, clubs, and spade. So we will have, all in all, we have 12 face cards all over the total number of cards in a regular deck of cards, which is 52. And 12 over 52 can be simplified to 3 all over 13. A letter is drawn randomly from the word Philippines. What is the probability that the letter is a vowel? What is a vowel? What are the samples of vowel? The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So how many vowels does the word Philippines do have? So that, that will be equal to 4, which is 1, 3 I's, and an E, all over 11, which is the total number of letters in the word Philippines. So that will be equal to 4, all over 11. A letter is drawn randomly from the word Philippines. What is the complement of the probability that the letter drawn is a vowel? We have solved for the probability that the letter drawn is a vowel. Since we are asked on the complement 
of the event, that will be equal to 1 minus the probability of the event. So that is equal to 1 minus 4 all over 11 or simply 7 over 11. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.